In today's video, we're going to discuss the top trends we're seeing for weddings in 2019. Let's go. Hi, my name is Meredith Rinkars and I'm the owner of Meredith Rinkars Photography. If this is your first time watching our channel, then I want to say welcome. If you are interested in bridal tips and wedding photography education, then make sure that you go hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our new content. Wedding trends can influence the overall look of your wedding day as well as the wedding industry as a whole. We're gonna share with you our top trends that we're seeing today in the wedding industry for this year. Make sure that you stick around till the very end of the video so you don't miss any of those top trends that could affect the look of your wedding day. Trend number one, craft food and craft cocktails. Now this is one of our favorites as a foodie. We are seeing in the wedding industry craft food experiences. This isn't your mom and dad's buffet or plated dinner. Oftentimes we're seeing that couples are bringing in a chef or having a particular favorite food item created from a mom's old recipe or a great grandmother's, as well as craft cocktails. This is elevated food. This is often farm to table or a full overall experience. In fact, we're even seeing that mixologists and bartenders are being brought in to create a custom cocktail for the bride and groom. In the past, it's been something that's rather pedantic, but now it's getting to how the bride's favorite floral notes are, or the groom has a favorite liquor, and it's being incorporated in a way that is truly custom and crafted to that couple. Trend number two, more experience-based weddings and guest gifts. So in the past, you've probably seen cute little candles or koozies or matchstick boxes. And while those are darling and cute, we are definitely seeing a trend shift to more experience-based gifts that your guests can take home with them. Things like a cigar bar where they can have a special cigar rolled, hand rolled for them that they can take home. Or while in the past you may have seen a custom treat bar where they can fill a bag with different kinds of candies, now we're seeing that these are custom cupcakes or things that they can take home with them that have been handcrafted. That word handcrafted is becoming more and more central to the trends for this year. Trend number three, we're seeing smaller and smaller weddings, more intimate affairs, but the difference is that the price point and the investment that couples are making has not gone down. As a national average, people tend to spend about 30 to 40,000 on a wedding. As they have smaller and smaller weddings, smaller and smaller guest counts, then they're able to provide a bigger and better experience for their guests. Just like we talked about in trend number one, where they're having more and more handcrafted food items. And that's doable because they're having smaller and smaller weddings as far as the number of guests count. So if you are planning a small wedding right now, an intimate affair, type yes in the comments section below. Trend number four, atmospheric and lighting effects. <laughs> Maybe not that much atmospheric air, but we're seeing more and more brides and grooms who are choosing to have things like fog machines, up lighting, fireworks as an exit, things that in the past weren't necessarily done as often. In fact, recently I saw in a local Savannah wedding where a bride and groom did their first dance at an old railroad museum. And right as they entered, there was a big loud sound of a choo-choo train and this fog and smoke billowed out, timed beautifully to the sound and to the music. And it was such a phenomenal entrance for that bride. And those are things that we're gonna be seeing more and more into 2020, into the next year. This is something that's not going away. Trend number five. This is one that we are super excited about because it has to do with 
photography, and it's something that we've been doing for a very long time. The shift from light, bright and airy, and blown out is going away. It has been slowly for a while, but you're gonna see a big shift in publications, in things that are featured more and more frequently, and you can also look at social media as well as image competitions if you're a photographer. That light, bright, and airy blown out where the highlights are completely white and all the detail is lost is going away. And we're heading into the era, back into the classic, clean, true to color imaging that we in our brand absolutely love. Trend number six, it's all about the cake. In the past, we've seen wedding cakes that were small or even a dessert buffet and no cake at all. But moving into this year and next year, you're gonna see more and more statement cakes coming back in. These are jaw-dropping, big, large, beautiful cakes with lots of detail work. And this is coming straight from Martha Stewart Weddings. And so we've actually seen this with some of our brides already where they've had large floral installations to highlight these big, beautiful cakes on pedestals and on stages with dramatic lighting featuring that cake and really setting that as the central focal point for the reception area. Trend number seven, the royal wedding has definitely influenced weddings in the past, not only in the 80s, but recently in the past couple years with Kate Middleton, and then of course with Meghan Markle's recent wedding. And so those big, beautiful floral installations that we saw at the entry of her wedding are gonna be seen throughout other weddings as well. We've seen them not only in the Birmingham market, but as well as the Savannah market. We're starting to see these floral archways, not only for the churches that mimic that Meghan Markle effect, but also we've seen them in reception entryways as well with simplistic color tones, greens and whites. And I don't think these are gonna go away anytime soon because they are such a beautiful statement piece for you and your guests. Trend number eight, this is a trend that has been growing for a while in the textures and the linens that you're gonna be seeing in the reception space, as well as what the bridesmaids are wearing, and it is velvet. Velvet is a seasonally non-specific fabric. You can see it in summer, in rich tones, in an indoor reception, as well as definitely as a winter accent texture. And it is lush, it is rich, and it is elegant looking. And that is something that we're gonna be seeing more and more throughout the decor and the different layers and textures that you're seeing. Trend number nine, custom illustrations for your wedding day. Now this may come in the form of a watercolor of the church you're getting married in, a favorite pet that you and your um, future spouse love, or even just a illustration from where you guys met. We've seen this on invitations. We've seen this on glassware. We've also seen this on napkins and invitations. And this is also a really customizable trend that I don't think is going to go away anytime soon. It is a great way to make your wedding unique to you and to stick out in your guests' mind for a very long time to come. Trend number 10, rounding out with the top most unique trend we're gonna be seeing in the next year as well as this year. And that is a change in ceremony setups. So for the last however many hundred years, we haven't seen a change really in how ceremonies were set up. And this year we're seeing a shift in that to longer aisles, wider aisles, as well as circular ceremony setups where the guests are all around in a circle and the altar space is round or you have a winding, beautifully lit aisleway that goes on for a lot longer than the typical traditional short aisle that we've seen in places. So that's a trend that I think is going to take hold as it really makes your ceremony stand out in a unique way 
without having to hike a budget up. And so I think that is going to be my most favorite and unique trend of all of them. These trends are just the tip of the iceberg. And if you want more information about wedding days and trends just like this, head to the show notes below, sign up for our newsletter where we send additional information just like this. Now to learn more bridal tips, make sure that you hit the next video here, as well as getting more videos from us, hit that subscribe button and notification bell right here so you don't miss out on a single new video.